But all right, uh, we're going to get into the first situation, man. It was a clip that was sent to us in regard to gender equality being a real thing. I'm going to play it. I want to get y'all taking oh, on how that conversation shit. went, man. Gender equality. My question is, if you believe in gender equality, don't you think you ought to split the bill on the first date? Um, mm. No, because my main concern with gender equality is through, like, yes, in society, like, fixing that and through, like, the system. But, yeah, I don't. Oh my god. She could have actually defended herself in this view by saying that gender equality has nothing to do with gender roles. And she could have expressed that really if we're going based off of traditional feminism, what that means is equal value of both genders. That one is not above the other. They just simply serve different purposes and have different strengths and weaknesses and sort of function as a yin and yang towards each other. And with that being said, men have a particular strength as it pertains to protecting and providing and what does one do on a first date but provide the money for the date to occur my question is if you gender equality is it a real thing what's the definition of gender equality equality of gender because <laughs> she said gender equality has nothing to do with paying for the date but providing mm -hmm. she's basically mm -hmm. that's saying, a gender role she it was said. it was a guy that that once broke that down in, in the analogy, he was like, he said gender equality doesn't necessarily mean that men and women have the same obligation, mm -hmm. right? The, the example was, okay, five plus five equals 10, mm -hmm. but seven plus three equals 10 as well. Sure it does. Mm -hmm. Eight so plus two does. Eight plus two, yep, all that. six plus four. So again, it's not necessarily saying that we have the same obligation. It's saying that, you know, again, we are different Mm -hmm. But what we bring to the relationship should be of the same value to one another. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But because each of us value different things, then that, then that you know, kind of paves the way for us not to have to bring the same things mm -hmm. to the relationship. So in the essence of a paying for a date, mm -hmm. women value that way more because they look for financial security in a man. Mm -hmm. Right. In comparison to the other way around, <clears throat> a man will appreciate if you pay for the date. Sure. But that's not something that I'm going to like if she pays for the date. OK, yeah, this is my wife, mm. because most men don't really care about your money if he's in a decent enough financial position. And let's just be honest, women ain't dating men, seriously, who are not in a decent financial position. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't value that the same way. But the same way he may value, again, just your femininity. Can you just spoke up last part about that in terms of, you know, I. I value my woman being a woman. I value her being feminine. I value her bringing, you know, intangible things to, to the table. That's what a man will appreciate. And if you're doing that at a high clip and then he's providing what it is that she values, then y'all giving the same effort. Mm -hmm. So y'all y'all are both, you know, equal but different in terms of what it is that y'all bring and, and y'all mm -hmm. provide. Mm -hmm. So that's what he meant by that. So according to Webster, like you said, it's a situation in which access to rights or opportunities is unaffected by gender. And one example was gender equality is um, when people of all genders have equal rights, responsibilities, and opportunities. Everybody is affected. Oh, never mind. Never put that part. But yeah. Um, gender equality in the workforce means being paid the same salary for equal work regardless of gender. Hmm. Huh. So... What's your thoughts? And and again, we could zero it in on that specific situation that they was for talking work. about. Paying, oh, paying for the first day. Mm. In terms of, because that's what he said. If you believe in gender equality, then why don't, why don't y'all pay for the first day? What what, what would y'all have to say to, to, to that uh, question? And then she... I don't know, because I'm stuck on the fact that it, gender equality for work is being being paid for the same job mm -hmm. no matter the gender or mm -hmm. well, for both here on a date doing the same thing. Shouldn't we both be paying for our sides in the same amount of work? Mm -hmm. But again, we could, that would mm -hmm. un unbox Pandora, right? Cause we could say, well, yeah, pay for the same situation. But again, we may have different jobs and we could speak to the, the likelihood of a man getting this job in comparison to a woman getting this job. Mm -hmm. Or could we say if the woman, if we're in the, say coal mining field and you have to dig dig and the man obviously is going to be able to dig deeper than the other woman right but they still get paid the same mm -hmm. 
So even though he's doing more work. He's doing more work. Mm-hmm. He's still getting paid the same. Is that really gender equality or is that? No, that is that is affirmative action. Mm-hmm. Which is messed up to say it that way mm-hmm. in terms of because but it they may not but they true. may not do equal work, but they're doing the same job. So just because your efficiency is different than mine, we're still doing the same job. But we didn't we shouldn't be getting paid the same. Then my my efficiency is higher than yours. I should be getting more but because certain, I am more efficient. But but certain jobs not not based on efficiency. Right. Sadly, right. Hmm. Well, if, if you, this is the job, if I do less, then I could get fired. No. Right. If I get graded, if, if she you don't gets, do if enough, she, if she gets graded higher than me, then she gets promoted. Right. Right. So mm-hmm. you are graded on your efficiency. Not not necessarily, because, again, even with that, we're going to open Pandora's box in terms of how much personality and networking and brown nosing and shit like that mm-hmm. factors into it. That just because she got the promotion doesn't necessarily mean that she's more skilled or does more work than you. She just may be working the room or working mm-hmm. office better than you do. Mm-hmm. We see situations like that all the time. Mm-hmm. So where they've been a motherfucker there 10 years, he know everybody's job, like the back of their hand. He do exceptional work, but he's not going to those lunch ends with the boss. Mm-hmm. He's not, you know, going to the Christmas party and the happy hours. And thing. He going up, showing him, doing his thing, and coming home. He don't want to have a social relationship. But you'll see somebody else coming there, been there two years, half ass on the work, still still do enough to where it's not noticeable. But then again, do, right, doing just enough, mm-hmm. not not less than to where I can raise red flags. But it's like I said, they in everybody face. They building relationships. Hey, how you doing? Mm-hmm. How, how your kids doing? Hey, you you going to fishing? I, I, I come with you. Let's go fish together. Let's the bar. This that 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 that. And that person to get the promotion. So relationships matter, sadly. And that's why mm-hmm. I say like efficiency a lot of times just don't matter on certain jobs, even if. You know, even jobs like like that, or you know, when when we was working, you know, in, in a couple of jobs that that maybe we've been working in, in in the past, as long as you're there for your eight hours and and you're not doing below what's necessary, yep. you, you decent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you know, you can have somebody that's showing up to work an hour early. Don't matter. You can yep. pay for eight. You know I mean, it. it's you know, we we appreciate the dedication, <laughs> but we're not paying you for nine hours just because you showed up an hour early and you started your work early and you you doing. You you digging fifty feet down when the requirement is twenty five, and mm-hmm. this person digging twenty seven down. I uh, mm-hmm. appreciate you, but that's not what the job said. You can just mean the minimum. Mm-hmm. Long as you mean the minimum. This position ten dollars an hour. Mm-hmm. Just because you digging fifty feet, we ain't paying you fifteen. Right. Over over time. Sadly, <laughs> sadly, mm-hmm. you know yeah, what I'm saying. It, it would be nice if if what you did. You know, equated to what your pay is, but that that just ain't realistic, man. Uh-huh. Just like at the grocery store, it's the same way. Cashiers, like you got certain cashiers that's ringing them motherfucker in and out. They getting the groceries done, boom, boom, boom. Mm-hmm. Long lines working their way through it. And you got other cashiers, you waiting in line thirty minutes. You like, God damn, what the fuck going on here? Right. They both getting paid the same twelve dollars. Unless you're getting a job that's based off of commission and stuff like that, right. then that's off your skill set, right? Because you would have to go get it like those uh, insurance claims and stuff like that. People be closing out on. Like, a lot of them be getting paid off how much work they do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Car salesmen, same thing. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I mean, fact is that men and women will, will never be equal. Mm-hmm. Never. Because we each have different strong suits. That's 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 just what it is. You know? Um, and, and for people to try to go against that or to try to claim that, which is why he kind of ex- he exposed her in terms of her ideology. Now, the, the girl on the back end came in and covered the situation and made it made it sound better. Mm-hmm. But the fact is, is that women don't want equality. Women want equality in spaces in which it's convenient for them in terms of the pay, in terms of this, in terms of that. But just like in that situation Kenny gave, if he say, you know what, you can make just as much as the man. This man digging 50 feet down a day, I need you to dig 50 feet down. If you can dig 50 feet down a day, then you can get the same money he getting. Most women not signing up to, to do that job. And that's why coal mine is 99.9% men mm-hmm. in that situation. But they'll complain <clears throat> about wages and different things like that. Do, are you willing to do the work that these men are doing at the clip in which they're doing it? Or do you want affirmative action? Just because you're a minority in the field, then mm-hmm. we're going to hire you to meet a quota. Or just because you're doing <clears throat> decent enough, bare minimum, over the, over the average – then you want the same money that they getting just because you're a woman or just because you're a minority or just mm-hmm. because you 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 kind of have a handicap mm-hmm. in that in, in that scenario. That's not fair. If you want equal pay, you got to be willing to put in equal effort in everything. Smooth said all the time, you can't come to the table and eat some some of it off the plate. 
that, that 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 ain't how that work. A man don't don't get that option. We don't we don't get cut that 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 type of slack like that in terms of our our input in regard to the output that that we get. So for for you to come in and expect equal pay, but I ain't doing all of that. I ain't digging fifty right. feet down. Especially when it comes to physical, it's large disparity. I mean, it's the reason why. Like, well, yeah, I'm gonna ask you a question, Kenny. For the military, were the PT tests the same for men and women, or were the women kind of grade on the curve a little bit? Well, PT tests are not the same for men and women. They can't be the same. That's that's just not how life is. And why? I don't know. And why? Can you mind? Because she's a woman and I'm a man. I mean, that's it's just not gonna happen. There's a physical attributes or extremely I mean it's the same thing with like personal training you know what I'm saying like women get based get graded off a certain scale BMIs are based off a certain scale is totally different for men and women calorie intake to to lose certain certain amount of weight women and men are totally different you know what I'm saying I can eat a thousand fifteen hundred two thousand more calories than a woman could because of how my body could take it a woman can't do that so it's just it's just physical attributes too that you know hey we just we just different people got to accept that and in some, in, in some phases, you know, we benefit from and some we don't. But that's just, we have to live with that. Same thing with women. Women benefit a lot too. But in certain aspects of, of things, certain things they just physically can't do. Mm-hmm. And it ain't their fault. You know, they're just born that way. Yeah. And I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I think it should boil down to who can do that specific task the best. They should be getting paid the most money. Because it's good. Just like that woman may not be able to dig a ditch that's 50 deep, but she may be able to design or set up the infrastructure right. that's going to, you know, have us clear this land in a timetable that's faster than Which is a just manhood. as important. Which is just as important. You see what I'm saying? So that's what it, that's what they mean by, you know, we're not the same, mm-hmm. but we can we can be equal. But we, yes. we, we got different strong suits. Yes. So when it comes down to the date situation... Yeah, I, whoever asked. Yeah, but I mean, even even then though, let's say let's say she asked, she said, "Hey, you know, we should we should go out." Now this is a girl that you like. I ain't talking about a late night hype. We just smashing on or whatever. But this is a girl that you really like. And let's say y'all kicking it in the DMs or y'all texting or whatever. And she said, "Hey, you know, let, let's let, let's link up and do do dinner Saturday." Most men, most men in that situation, even if she offered to pay for it, he ain't gonna let her do it. Mm-hmm. Because again, I, I really like you, and I want to set the standard. I want to establish the fact that I can do what it is that you value most in a man, mm-hmm. and that's provide for you. Now, after that, day four, five, six, you want to offer? Cool. I was just about do to say you. that. Yep. I mean that, but you know, again, the requirement first date, especially. Ah, man, 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 got to set the tone. It could be a chick that he don't even like like that. She could just be the homie, and we go out to lunch. Let's say Chipotle, something we we working out or something. We met at the gym, we working out, we kicking it. That's the homie. Man, let's just go grab Kava or Ch- Chipotle. Man, ain't going to do You pull that, pull your card, I pay this $6.50 for this, for this burrito. Hey, man. Well, man, just, hey, man, here, yeah, man. What if you're in Vegas and you have to? So I got a scenario. <laughs> oh, y'all don't want to answer mine, huh? Oh, okay. no, com- no comment. <laughs> no comment. I got a scenario. Okay. Ugh. A man asks a woman out on a date. Mm-hmm. They go to the restaurant. She orders her food. Mm-hmm. He eats chips and salsa. Mm-hmm. Right. Check comes. Who should pay? Should is a is a is a funny term in this situation. A should is just so much uh, ambiguity. I know that mm-hmm. word. Okay, mm-hmm. just, just want to make sure I ain't lose. I'm make sure I ain't lose. I really don't, but I'm but, just saying I know that word. <laughs> I heard it before. <laughs> I heard it. I heard it. Before. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's so much ambiguity in terms of should. Mm-hmm. But I think even in that situation, that we gonna keep it real, a man ego not gonna allow him to say, hey. I know you, what you paid for was seventy five dollars. What I paid for was ten. You know my car for the ten. You pay for the seventy five. It's just the ego not going to allow that to happen. Oh. If he really like her, this was a date. So he right? don't like her. This was a date. This was a date. Who he, set up the date? He did. He said, so he "Hey, said, I would like to take you out." He said, 
Oh, you know, we didn't say like together. He said, "Hey, we should go to dinner." So he initiated saying, "Hey, or, we or lunch. we should go." Right. Yeah. And she said, "Okay, yes." Mm -hmm. And he picked the spot. Right. Yes, he picked the spot. Mm. And he ordered chips and salsa at the spot. Mm, he he ordered. ordered. It came. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn! Come on, man. Come on, dog. <laughs> Come on, man. He got the free chips and salsa. Oh, come on. Come on, man. And the water. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on dog. That is insane. Could you imagine he's sitting there eating them chips and she ordered shit? You want some? Nah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Mm -hmm. That is crazy, dog. <laughs> These, these chips good, boy. <laughs> chips and salsa. That's the name of the show. Should song. he pay, in my opinion? No. Should he? No. Oh, yes, he should. My bad. Mm -hmm. My head fucking up. Mm -hmm. Should he pay? Yes. Mm -hmm. How I was raised? Yeah, I think he should pay. But is he obligated to pay? No. I agree. But my thing is, like, why even call on the date? Yeah, like, like man, that he just want, maybe he just wanted to get a thought on it. He wanted to see her in person. Want to see her at the house. Want to see her dressed up a little yeah, bit. He just wanted to conversate with her. He really wasn't hungry, but he thought food would really lighten her up to eat. So he ate before he came. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to bring her to his house because he didn't trust her. Right. He wanted to be in a comfortable atmosphere <laughs> with a full belly. The <laughs> full belly. This nigga asked on a date and they go eat before he get to Together or separate? <laughs> Nigga say I Separate. just ain't actually. The fuck is that, that is correct. But hey, we laughing, but it's dudes that do that. I know. <clears throat> Sorry for y'all ladies. I'm sorry you have to go through something. Like it's not obligated to do it. Hey. It's tough. But my thing is that why even ask just don't ask her out. That's what I, I agree. Well, let, why let, not let, ask her out? Let's FaceTime. Mm. If, if if I if I ask you to if I ask you out and I pick the restaurant. We go there. I don't eat a damn thing but the chips and sauce that if, they bring out. What if he's like, hey, uh, you have any allergies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't eat seafood or nothing. Well, let's go to a Mexican spot. I want to see you in person. Mm -hmm. Right. Would you mind going to a spot to eat? Here's, here's another take on that. It's yeah. certain cultures to where making somebody eat by themselves is rude. Mm -hmm. it's, it's disrespectful. Well, he didn't make her eat by herself. He, he was eating the chips and salsa. <laughs> What? He ate He just ate chips and salsa. He just had a little wine mixer. Come on, man. What? He had Papa Cito. It was wild. Hey, them chips and salsa good. It do be good. Come on, man. But I'm just saying. Um, Yeah, no. I mean, I just if I'm in a situation, and that's the situation, for one, I ain't going to chips and salsa. But what I'm saying is, hypothetically speaking, just put me in that. I'm gonna feel obligated to pay. I invited you out here. Yeah, I picked the spot. No, I agree a thousand. Percent. Yes, I, I agree with that. But it's, they say it's a lot of men that like that though. Right. Should he? Does he have to pay? No. Nah, right. he ain't got to do that. He ain't got to do nothing. But brother. he better be okay with what she say. Hey, <laughs> nah, we ain't going nowhere. No women, more. yeah, Facts. women have your own, and be just be ready to cut them off. And that's the thing. It be dudes doing that and expecting sex after. <laughs> what? Don't be asking these women out if you ain't got no money, dog. And that's why I say it goes back to my age old statement. Broke men should not be dating. What if he's not broke? He just don't want to pay. That, that's worse. If you not, I, I, he ain't broke. He's just cheap. That's worse. Mm. I mean, at least in one of them, you got an excuse. You making the choice to, to eat chips and salsa while this woman is ordering real food at the table. Like, come on, fam. Come on, bro. Oh, he liked this chips and salsa? Nah, he What's wrong with like chips and salsa? So nah. now he's not man enough to eat because he need a whole meal. Yeah, he ain't no he ain't no man you eating chips and salsa. What if he get a steak and only eat one piece? Cool, you order a steak. Oh, he wasn't hungry? Nah, so why'd you order the steak? Well, uh, I didn't want to look like less of a man. <laughs> Fam, if he invite that woman to, the, to a date and he eat chips and salsa and that's it, bro, he a goofy. Let's, uh, let, 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 let's, let's call it what it is, man. He just like the chips and salsa there. Nah, he, he a goofy. Like chips, he, a goofy. goofy. He, just, he just want he, some chips and salsa. He a goofy, bro. Eat your chips and salsa. <laughs> do what you gotta do. <laughs> Don't force him to make you eat an enchilada. Kitty by that, y'all. And he ain't gonna never get no ass, dude. Just Ever. stare at her, eat her enchiladas. <laughs> Is it good, baby? Can Is I have a bite? Good? Hey, if he asked for a bite. Cut him off. He asked for a bite. <laughs> 
Oh, I be waiting when she finished. He asked for water cup and go get soda. You gonna eat the rest of that? Yeah. He said you gonna eat the rest of that. <laughs> <laughs> You want to have his slot left the way to come try to get it? You no, wanna, no, 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 no. Nigga, you, want, you want to go box? Yeah, we want to go box. <laughs> nigga, I'll what? Take it no, you can take it. No, 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 no. You can box it up. You can box it up. You can box it up. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, box it up. If she was a real line. woman, she'll see he's down on hard times. No, I just <laughs> took the time out of his day to go eat with That's her. That's the issue with today, you know what I'm saying? They don't be ready to get down and dirty with, 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 with the men. No, he ain't doing it. He just on his low right now. Yeah, yeah. But you got to yeah. be with him on his low to when he gets yeah. to his high. But you're supposed to support her when she at her low. Yeah. Damn, yeah. A nigga boxing yeah. up a half an inch a lot. <laughs> it's insane. About 20 grains of rice. That nigga on the... scraping that motherfucker. Yeah, licking the plate, licking the plate. <laughs> <laughs> man, get some money right, man. Don't go out like that, man. Get some money Please. right. Please. 